folks, welcome back to the ABC Journeyman. I am the Custard Prophet. We're back here at our fourth club, which is Bowers and Pitsy, in our second season with them. And no longer are we trying to chase down the uh, the uh, playoff chasing teams. No, we, we're not going to get there. But we are going to try and chase down a cup win. We're sitting here in the last 16 and we're going to show you this game against Northwood. So yes, we've we've actually had quite a good run since we were last together. We've only lost a single game. We've probably not scored enough goals. Um, lot a draw against Holbridge, which I have no idea how we managed to. We had an XG of well over two and didn't manage to put one uh, away. Jack Napier's gone. He went a little bit funny in front of goal, and and you can see we have um, been struggling a little bit to get get the goals outside of that so a nil nil draw there home nil nil draw against welling uh, who were doing a lot better this was a, a tighter affair and probably nil nil was the right result uh, although we lost kai perkins there um but then we did beat tunbridge away from home nice little goal from the admiral um, and that set us on a little uh, run of victories uh, which Included a really nice 2-1 victory over Folkestone, who are riding high in the top division in the Isthmian Leagues. A um, couple of goals from Romain Mundell. Really, really happy with that. It put us in the last 16, and we're going to see that against Northwood. Against Cray Valley at home, they're a struggling side. Napier did get on the score sheet here alongside Mundell and Livermore, um, which was pleasing. But I don't think he scored since then. Away against uh, Hashtag United. This is a good one because they're really doing well. Um, we Again, Jack Napier with just a 6 average rating there. Against Lansing, we, we scored a penalty. Um, although you can see we didn't even make a substitute in that. I can't remember why. Uh, but we did enough to get through that. I think Lansing are doing quite well in the league. Um, no, the mid-table like us. So, And then we just lost against Grays, which was frustrating. Um, Billy Blacker with a goal. But, yeah, we... we yeah, it is, it is frustrating. Gray's a 17th, so we, we really should be doing better there. The thing I do notice here is at home, we really aren't getting many people coming to watch us, um, which is which is frustrating. We've had, I guess this is a local derby, is it? This one here, again, Brentwood maybe, but not getting a lot of people watching us, which is, um, which uh, which should be a lot, uh, it should be... Uh, yeah, which is a bit of a problem. If, we, if we're going to try and make money, we need people through the door. So we're going to be playing Northwood today. Northwood are in a division below us. So I guess we are the, the favourites. We're not scoring lots and lots of goals, as you can see. But hopefully we will um, we will be able to create a, a little bit more. You can see, actually, uh, one, one person who's no longer in the squad is our left-back, Big Das. The uh, Hungarian guy, he, he's left because uh, he wasn't getting enough games. Fair enough. Um, okay, so team that we are going to be playing with is this one. Napier up top, Blacker, Mundell and Howland uh, across the uh, the middle there. Uh, then we've got Livermore and Taylor just behind them. And then Powney, Okadur, Palmer Brown and Abdul Salim at right back. Uh, Howland is coming in because Perkins is struggling a little bit to create chances. Not sure whether we should maybe try and do something with Napier. I'm not quite sure what that is, but if you've got any suggestions to make him work a little bit better, I am all ears. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can qualify for the uh, quarterfinals. Well, here we go. I think we're going to start on a balanced mentality. We've not really changed things up too much with our... Uh, tactic it seems to be working pretty well. Here's Napier. It, is that going to be uh, an? Is that going to be a Napier goal? It's an own goal, but I mean that's fine. We'll take it. Napier kind of gets on the score sheet, and hopefully that's going to be a little shot in the arm for him because he's he's just missing his one-on-one -on -one chances. He's still getting them. He's just not not quite the player he was. Uh, it's frustrating when when you have a real player, a real quality player who who sort of goes off form. Here's Stratford with a, a long free kick just off the top of the bar decent whip on that free kick oh look at our bins there excellent it's actually it's, it's their bins isn't it so maybe another chance here the ball goes straight into hannah in goal no worries there for them so they're going to just try and boot the ball up the pitch and see what that so northwood aren't uh, i did check although i did that last night northwood aren't really um doing that well in the league so all in all this should be a game 
particularly as we're one nil up, that we should be able to do enough uh, to to get the uh, uh, to get the win. But you just never know. Napier, what are you doing, man? It's so slow. He seems to have lost a uh, lost a little bit of um, an edge there. Mundell just puts it past the post. That was a glorious chance. Well, here's Harrison. They go long, but it's straight into the uh, into the goalkeeper's hands, and that's what we like to see. Zeglam is going to just try and pick out someone on this side. Pownie, who's he, he blows hot and cold. I'm not sure whether we're going to renew his contract, although he's one of the cheaper players we've got. We've we've started to fiddle around with some of the contracts, um, but not everyone. Oh well, Zeglam, he. he he took a little bit of time to make the decision to uh, to get the ball there. And Blacker again not winning the ball. They, they just look a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> what a mistake! It just bounced off the defence, but we're just looking a little bit loose at the minute. Um, but here's Okadua. Livermore loses the ball. Yeah, just just a little bit loose. With the um, with our with our control, but nice little ball up the top. Blacker here. He puts Mundell in chance here, and it's into the bottom corner. Two nil. Lovely stuff. At least we're getting goals from elsewhere. Right, Pownie out. Come on. Where's where's the where's Napier? Why why is he stopped? Why is he stopped scoring? Lovely little shot though. There hit the hit the bar. We're playing well now. Thirty six minutes on the clock, and they have put a nice ball in. Okadua does well there to get the uh, to clear the ball, and Mundell desperately trying to pick that pick the uh, the ball off the defender, but not quite. Oh, that was beautifully done. Ran straight through the two defenders. No one really picked him up, and just stuck his foot out, and it was past our goalkeeper. Come on, don't don't lose this. Here's Mundell though, corner. Another chance. No, it's just cleared again. And it's uh, to absolutely nobody there. And we're going to recycle that again. Okadur, Livermore, chips it in. Nobody there. Here's Howland. And it's Mundell who looks like he's the most likely to do anything today. Um, he's, he could have had a hat trick with his earlier chance. 3-1 Napier, you've not seen him have a shot. Very, very uh, quiet performance. Other than the uh, the yeah, the uh, the goal, the initial goal, deflected goal, but well done. Exciting game, kickoff highlight. Scored one of the 39 minutes. We already had four goals. Just can't seem to put them to bed, this team there. Very, very <laughs> Tenacious. Oh, here's Napier. Now he's through. Come on. Oh God. And that is not the Napier that you've you've known on. That's what he's been doing. Just no conviction in front of goal. And don't understand why. So the question is, do you try and change things? Do you put do you put the Admiral up there? Because he scored, the Admiral scored 27 goals last season. In that same position. Come on. Ball over the top. Didn't quite find it. And they've cleared it again just to nobody. And they're, they're losing their way a little bit, Northwood. A lot of very aimless passes now. <laughs> and, well, if, if our defenders can actually deal with them, and that was dreadful from... Uh, uh, Palmer Brown, a couple of mistakes from the uh, the two centre backs. Cleared it nicely though. Well done. Solid first half, three one. Pretty pleased with that. I just feel we need to be a little more incisive in front of in front of goal. So Powney into Mundell. And they've done well there. There's just a, there's a lovely little ball in. They've cleared it. But again, they just don't deal with the, um, or don't put play a decent enough ball to when when they've got the opportunity to. Another long ball, and it's straight back to us, and that's their problem, isn't it? Blacker does well there, just 
predicted what was going to happen. Ball across, and his Napier, he got himself a goal. Jack, the big man, it's 4 1. Very good. I think that was so important for him to get get a goal. Come on, let's get another one now. Mundle. Corner comes in. Oh, it's cleared out. Black is going to try and find someone in there. Taylor. Oh, <laughs> off the inside of the post. Considering we haven't scored this many goals in a long time, this is going to feel very, very good for the boys. Andrews coming on for Livermore and a chance here for somebody. Here he is, Andrews. I don't think he's done anything this season. It's been a real disappointment. Oh, just over the top. Yeah, I, I don't think we're keeping him. So we've brought on Musqui and Mare. Mare coming in the centre and fashioning a late chance here. Musqui. What have we done there? Not really created that. Lovely little over-the-shoulder shot <coughs> pass there. Here's Nightmare, as I like to call him. Over the top here is Romain Mundell. And I think he was standing offside, Jack Napier, but hopefully not. Come on. Oh, it's offside. Oh, he hasn't scored two goals in a game in ages. Really good victory. 4-1. Probably could have got more. Napier's got himself a goal, so hopefully that's going to set him going. He was, he's starting to stand in the right places, get in the right places, and uh, create a few more chances. So we have qualified for the next... Um, for the, the quarterfinals, I'm not sure when the draw is. We'll go and um, follow up. Yeah, we're gonna we'll, we'll go forward and we'll see who we, we might draw because this is what we are trying to. Uh, if we can get a win here, that would be massive. Okadu missing in the next match, but it's going to be a league match, so it's not the end of the world. Right, here's the draw. Looking oh, at who's left in here, Bognor Regis are obviously going to be a real challenge. There's um, a couple of lower league teams, Haringey and Sh Sheepy United. <laughs> we'll take Sheepy. Holbridge, which would be a bit of a an interesting one. We've had some battles against them, and probably um, probably can uh, are, are maybe a slightly better side than them. Lansing, who are at mid table, Tonbridge Angels, them 14. So it's only really and Billericay 17. So it's only really Bognor Regis who are the trouble in here so we've just gone everything and we are going to be playing Haringey um, of the Isthmian North uh, division so yeah that is a favourable draw and how are they doing they're third in this league so okay they're a good side in this league but I wonder whether we've got enough to uh, to get through uh, through that. In fact, they're, they're a side that we played last season, didn't we? Didn't we beat them? Uh, yeah, they were all set to, to go up, and we uh, we beat them just to uh, to qualify for the 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 playoffs. I remember that. Okay, so what we might well do is come back for that um, quarterfinal match. Can we can we go all the way? Is the big question. I'm not sure. Um, we also got a game there against Billericay, but we've given ourselves a chance. If we get to the semi-finals, which is there's a real chance of doing that against Haringey. We've got a, we've got a good side here. Then it starts to get interesting. And if Bognor Regis get knocked out, who knows? Who knows? We could end up winning a cup. So it is worthwhile uh, keeping on. In terms of, I didn't talk about this, but in terms of jobs that are around, there's nothing really there at the minute. Uh, we did put in the uh, in a couple of applications, one of which was for Canby Island. No, yes, Canby Island, uh, who are a who are eighth in the national league, but we we didn't even get an interview for that. So maybe we're we're sort of looking a little bit too high. The one interesting job I did notice, which would be a fascinating one, um, is this one here uh, is for in Birmingham. So Billy Sharp's Birmingham. So if if he gets kicked out there, would that be worth going in before the end of the season? Certainly, if it comes up, we will be applying for it, and then we'll see where we go there. But that I think is a real interesting one because that's that's a club you could take places. No idea how they are where they are, but that is the truth of it. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one where. Fingers crossed it is going to be a quarter-final uh, against Haringey, but 
it could be potentially a new club maybe Birmingham who knows I'll see you then goodbye Thank you.